Hi, and welcome to the Proform 750R rower assembly video. Step 1. Assembly tips. Assembly requires two people. Place all parts in a cleared area and remove the packing materials. Keep the included tools. One or more of the tools may be needed to make adjustments in the future. Do not use power tools and keep the rower unplugged during assembly. Do not dispose of the packing materials until you finish all assembly steps. Step 2. Discard shipping tubes and hardware. If there are shipping tubes attached to the rower, remove and discard. With the help of a second person, pull the rail outward and rotate the stabilizer downward. Step 3. Attaching the stabilizer. Attach the stabilizer to the frame with two M10 by 14 mm screws. Then hold the rail handle, pull the rail outward, and rest the rail on the floor. Step 4. Attach the seat. Orient the seat as shown and slide the seat carriage onto the rail. Step 5. Attach the rail cap. Slide the seat to the front of the rail. Next, attach the rear stop to the rail with two M4 by 8 mm screws. Then attach the rail cap to the rail with two M4 by 19 mm screws. Step 6. Attach the console to the neck. While the second person holds the console near the neck, plug the upright wire into the receptacle on the console. The wire connector should slide into place easily and snap into place with an audible click. If it does not, turn the connector and try again. Please note, depending on your product, you will either have a JST type of connection or Molex. JSTs must be connected in the correct orientation and hear an audible click. If you don't hear a click, flip over the connector and try again. Molex connectors can only be connected one way. Insert the excess wire into the neck or into the console. Avoid pinching the wires. Attach the console to the neck with four M4 by 12 mm screws. Start all the screws and then tighten them. Step seven, attach the console. While the second person holds the console and the upright near the frame, connect the upright wire to the main wire. The wire connectors should slide together easily and snap into place with an audible click. If they do not, turn one connector and try again. Insert the excess wire into the frame. Avoid pinching the wires. Attach the upright to the frame with four M8 by 35 millimeter screws. Start all the screws and then tighten them. Step eight, attach the upright covers. Hold the neck and loosen and remove the knob from the upright. Next, identify the right and left upright covers and orient them as shown. Press the right and left upright covers together around the upright and attach them to the upright with two M4 by 16 mm screws. Then insert the knob into the right upright cover and tighten it into the upright. Step nine, final inspection. Make sure that all parts are properly tightened. Extra parts may be included. Now that we're finished with the assembly, let's start the onboarding process. Step one, turn the rower on. Plug the power adapter into the receptacle on the front of the rower. Once the rower power cord is plugged in, push the power switch to on. Step two, test the rower. Enter manual mode and proceed to test the rower resistance to ensure it is properly calibrated. Once your iFit equipment is set up, if it happens to be locked, you have two paths to unlock it. The first is to sign up for iFit. You can pair iFit with your mobile device to your equipment to easily unlock it. The second is to manually unlock it. To do so, you're gonna press the iFit button on the console and hold it. This is gonna take between 15 and 30 seconds, and you'll continue to hold the button until the animation completes. Once the animation is complete, you'll see the light turn on and your equipment is now unlocked. From here, you can simply press start and get started with your workout. Thank you for purchasing this Proform rower.